Hi, I'm James Well. And I'm Robert Well. And this is your weekly reminder that we are not the same person, but we love bread. Love mm, bread. I'm filming now. Well, you asked for it, so like, you only have yourself to blame. <laughs> we mentioned recently that James comes up with a lot of terrible video ideas, and he seems to deny it quite frequently. There's evidence to prove otherwise. Anyway, it doesn't matter. No, I don't think you got that wrong. It doesn't matter. I think it's right. not right. It's neither here nor there. It's not <laughs> we were going through a list of the stuff that we were going to film, mm. and Ashton went tasting different kinds of breads. And we all looked at each other and, and like, like, where what? did that come from? <laughs> what does that even mean? Yeah. And then we mentioned it, and everyone was like, do it. Maybe this will be the thing that that makes us get to millions. Maybe this is our viral moment. Yeah. So today, Ashton has gone out and bought some fresh bread. So we have to guess which one it was. This is... So we have to guess which one it was. This. <laughs> which one it was. Right. Just don't. So like all our cheap versus expensive videos, we are gonna try and guess which bread is the cheaper bread mm. to the most expensive mm. bread. And bread can be cheap, and oh. bread can be expensive. My favorite, yeah. My favorite uh, bread is a thick sliced hobbit. I love tiger bread. Have you ever had, have you? Pretzel bread is my favorite, Aye. sorry. Oh God, sorry, I didn't know how, I forgot how to breathe. Thank you, Ashton. Oh. Oh. <gasps> mm, it sounds like soya dough and oh, it does have a sharpness smell of olives. Yeah. 36 F fermented olives 30 bread. 36 hour fermented. Can something ferment in 36 hours? Yeah, that's not that long, is it? It does smell a bit like guff. Mmm. That sounds like it's got good air it's in it. It's sourdough, so it's very, um, mm. obviously like a sourdough. Please no one judge my cutting because I do. I judge other people's cutting and I'm obviously, I don't know how to chef. Oh. Mm. Ooh. Lots of aeration in there. Lots of, it's been aeration for it's, 36 hours. <laughs> it smells more like olives now inside. Now that smells more like olives inside. So I'm thinking already quite expensive because olives. Oh, sourdough is a bit more expensive than normal bread, right? I have no idea. I don't know because everyone was making sourdough bread. Sourdough is like the worst toast. This bit here is very um, thick. Mm. <laughs> so we are going to try with and without butter because why else would you have bread if not for butter? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like pizza. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get all the flavor. It's horrible though. It's kind of wet and hard to swallow. Yeah, you do have to chew it a few times. I hate that so much. I'm a big fan of olives and bread, but I don't think I like this particular olive bread. Oh, I would eat that whole loaf. That's delicious. Wow, I'm really excited to try it with butter. That's so much butter. Yeah, that's a lot. Just eat it, please. It tastes like how it tasted before, but now with butter on it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Hmm. This is the kind of thing yeah. that um, you'll have in a, a fancy cafe where mm. it's like, oh, this is gonna have tomato, mozzarella, and basil in it. Perfect avocado toast. Oh, bread. I think that's mid. I think it's mid higher. Mid higher, okay. Because it's olives, it's bread, it's sourdough. Sourdough. Oh. oh. Now, Ashton has something to say about this before Go you Ashton. all say this Fucking is a cake. Tell them. Apparently, panettone is considered a bread, not a cake, because of the amount of yeast. Actually, but let, still, let's cut this like a cake. Okay. Not down the middle, do it in a triangle. Oh, so you want a wine glass to dig in? No. <laughs> I love that. I love that. That sounds really good. Yeah, that smells like Christmas for sure. Mm, okay. love that. So I'm gonna... I worked for a brand that every Christmas that gave us one of these and a bottle of champagne. I loved them. I love them. You ready for the big root Oh. Oh, that's very yellow. <laughs> Are you really breathing out on it? <laughs> yeah, it almost looks like brioche. If you have made it to this point in the video, right? <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna ask you why. Why? <laughs> Eat it normally, please. <laughs> but why would you when it has all this flavor? You'll hold it in your mouth for a minute. Tastes like hot cross bun. I could gob this whole thing oh, down. I'm okay on eating it. No, this will be nice with butter because if you think like It'll hot be cross so buns. Much. I think this is super affordable because, like I said, you get these in Sorry. HomeSense, TK Maxx. Mm. They're, you know, always in like a basket. I do think higher bottom. I think it's under our olive bread. Mm, for that's, sure. that's one of the best I've ever had. Though. Yeah, that's that incredible. has to be one of the nicer ones. Yeah. Can't you breathe? <laughs> it did come in a tin and not a car uh, cardboard thing. Oh. oh. The brioche bun. Brioche. Brioche. <laughs> Hmm. Anything? Mm, no. Um, um, sausage and egg McMuffin. Gonna cut it like a burger bun, I think. So you're just having like a ham sandwich. Yeah, ham sandwich. This feels a bit dry. Oh, that looks terribly dry. This I bought brioche buns for a barbecue and so normal ones think it'll be posh and it was just like it's dry. Like dessert. It smells like croissant. Yeah, it smells like croissant. It sounds very dusty. It seems so dry, actually. Right, watch your fingers, because I was still cutting, wasn't I? I'm gonna immediately put butter on this. I feel like I feel like this might be from the like Tesco pick and mix section. Yeah, I feel like this is normal grocery store bread. Yeah. It doesn't even taste like brioche. Oh, I don't want any more. I think it's right down the end I here. do too. Okay, so, so, so far, cheapest, we have the brioche we just tried. Dry, horrendous, horrible. Mm -hmm. I think we're gonna have something in between. Yeah. Up on the upper mid end, we have this panela de Panela tines. Which is beautiful. And then we have the olive bread as our most expensive so far. Yeah. That's really stained my throat. Mm -hmm. It's made an impression. Mm. Mm. Next, next bread, please. Oh, uh, can I wipe his mouth? Yeah, do you wanna wipe his mouth? Look at that. What a lovely Ooh. little square. It looks salted. It looks um, rosemary. Yeah. It just looks really beautiful. I can't smell anything personally. I couldn't either. Just cut off a square. I'm scared. I don't want to touch it. I'm kind of scared to disrespect it because it looks so nice. Do you have an axe? Ax? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You're dyslexic and you can do a lot of things. I can do a lot of things. Oh! Mm, it, has, it smells like Lowsley. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, oh. Do that, do that. Mm. Wow. Mm. I'm not gonna put butter on it because it'd be too salty. This is a beautiful. It's got like a slightly hard top. It's a little mm. bit oily. Mm. And it, it tastes, tastes like garden. rosemary and salt. Mm. That's our most expensive so far. Mm. Here's what I'll argue. Kayabates are quite a staple within baking. Right. In the sense that I feel like it's something people can make quite easily. But the flavours. Oh, the flavours are lovely, but I don't think it's the most expensive. Okay, then it's underneath it, olive Under bread. olive bread. 100%. Okay. I wish you could have olive bread. I think you would love it. Imagine, can you imagine? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I should be thinking about that one. <laughs> Just baguette? Just baguette? Traditional Is baguette? it sourdough? You can always see um, sourdough from the outside because... It's, it's a lot denser. Yeah, it's almost... Oh, oh. feel that. If you move the knife first. Put your finger there. Just a little, uh, just a bit for me. Yeah, I'm getting <laughs> I'm full. <really> full. <laughs> Hmm. So that's kind of regular. Right. So I buy a sourdough that isn't that expensive and this tastes worse than that. As I was eating, I looked at you and I think I swallowed whatever fragrance you're wearing. Rhubarb. 
just for you, Bob. <laughs> Hello? Hello, is that James Welsh? He's speaking. Hi, it's bread. Can you stop eating bread? <laughs> the, the crust is really nice, like nicely chewy. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the thing is though, that's the kind of thing where like, if you order like a cheese and ham baguette, when you get that, you're going to be chewing at it because that crust is so oh, that chewy. Didn't, that didn't go down well. I mean, it, it tastes nice, like it's a nice thing, but I do think it might be on the lower end. Not because it's I bad, it, no, just because it's a bad. baguette, you know? Yeah. This is just regs. This is like fine. Yeah, I agree. You know what, I wouldn't be surprised if the first one was gluten-free because it tastes like shit. Oh, that went down really badly. Actually. It's still going down, actually. Yeah, it's, it's here. I can physically feel it here. Yeah. <laughs> Next one. Wow. Whoa. Goodness me, are we at the royal wedding? Let's get a shot of this. It looks like somebody's hair going to a. I was gonna USD say, yeah. Party. It looks like, or it looks like when you see like men's barbers and they do this like, um, yeah. with, with like the really sun. I, James, I did. James, the, I want you to do this. Right, don't. Royal no. Blue Man. No. <laughs> royal Blue Man. Real Blue Man. Champagne. Champagne. Looks like bread to me. <laughs> wow, you can tell it's different. Yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to suck on this bread. Oh. Wow, you can smell the champagne. Have you got a bit of gold? Yes, I do, thank you. Mmm. Very soft, very neon. Uh, that's the uh, bread. Thank How you. does Ashley need to help you spread butter? <laughs> no, I'm doing it with one hand is all. <laughs> Obviously the gold doesn't taste like anything. I mean, the whole thing doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like bread. Well, let's put that above. I think it's going to be even more expensive. It's definitely most expensive because it's got gold The process it. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I am having digestive issues. It's still moving through my body. Yeah. Yeah. Very dense. Most expensive purely because of the gold. It was just, it's kind of disappointing though, isn't it? Because I thought that was going to be like champagne and gold and shit and it just tastes like bread. The day though? Oh. Oh. Sourdough. Like bloody ill. Like B-L-A-A-D-Y. Bloody. Is that Italian or Cornish? Oh, Ireland. I'm one part Scotch Irish. Me too. <laughs> oh. So it is very dense. I was, I would say, it feels like a, um, a, like a burger bun when you went to your friend's house and you tell they had a bit more money than you. Yeah, it would be like you're eating it. You'd be like, oh, Sarah, where did you get these buns? Mm. It's just this little bakery down the road for me. It's where I get most of my groceries. Okay, I've done it into three quarts for us because we're three quarts Scotch Irish. Oh. Oh, spiteful. Oh, sour. it's like sour, but there's like tinging and kingly. There's like tinging and kingly. <laughs> oh, it's really sharp. It tastes like when you accidentally eat like bicarbonate soda. That's what it is. Maybe it's um bicarb. Bicarb. Isn't that how you make sourdough? Oh, it's got a malt, chewy with a subtle malt taste. I don't and know what malt is. a pleasing bitterness. Bitter, after, bitter, bitter, bitter. Bitter. They say that the breakfast blah, egg, bacon, rasher, and sausage is more common than the breakfast roll in Waterford. Sounds good. It's a bit marmite y, that kind of thing, where it's like that sharp tingle that you. It's vinegary almost. Mm. And I think it. That goes in the middle, because I yeah. still think that's nice in the brioche bun. I'm growing to like this aftertaste, you know. Okay. okay. So th this is our final lineup. Starting from Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Least expensive, we have this um, oh brioche roll. Actually, look, <laughs> no, look how much you can just dig your fingernails in. Yeah, do that. Least expensive. Second, we have that one we just had that was soy. The blur. The blur. And then we have the long baguette that was also soy. Yeah. We have this wonderful panna cotta. Oh. <laughs> then we have the wonderful Lowe's Melita ketchup. That was bloody, bloody, bloody. That was bloody. 
And then we have the olive bread. Oh. Okay. And then we have this millennium, what was it? Millennium dome bread. <laughs> <laughs> the millennium bug bread. <laughs> Um, Blue Royal Bloomer, Bloomer that had the gold on it. Did we like this? Was... <laughs> I was talking. Yeah, but I think that's enough. Was the Royal Bloomer nice? No. We have to remind you because last time people got really heated about it. Yeah. This isn't the way, this isn't the order that we like them. It's the order that they're most expensive. Yeah, so many people were so upset. There was a it. lot of comments, a lot of outrage and death threats. Lots of controversy. <laughs> I think, Marcus, if you can annotate them. Please tell us what is the cheapest blades. The bladdy roll. The bladdy oh, roll. Oh, how much was 50p. it? Fifty p. Fifty p. Actually, that's a that was a really okayish taste. Yeah. For that bladdy roll. Yeah. Brioche. 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 Okay, yeah. So, okay, it's fine. Okay, so yeah. we fine. Okay. Fine. So, okay. Ninety p. Okay. I think that's still overpriced because it was really shit. Baguette. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. We yeah, knew. Yeah. We knew. We knew that. Yeah. Wait, how much was the baguette? Two pound ninety five. Oh, uh, that's a bit overpriced. All right, from a bakery though. I don't know, it's sourdough, mm. but it just, it, I wouldn't say that, okay. Yeah, yeah. Focaccia. Yeah. No. No. £3.50. Is that's that a bargain oh. for that huge focaccia? I would get that every day. Actually, I would eat the whole thing every day. Nine, 12. Mm. And that's as far as I can go, we're counting for free. Yeah. Really good. I really, really like that. That's a special bread. If you're having your whole family round for just spaghetti. Just serve a focaccia. No. Oh. If you're having your whole family around for spaghetti, that's your dipping bread. I don't know if you have the catch of a spaghetti. Where's the catcher from? I don't know. Italian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let me take this off because I just hate the way that's sitting there. Yeah, okay. sure, sure. Okay, okay, so we put this one next, the um, Cinnabon. No, what was yeah, it? the Panatone. 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 It was the olive bread. What? Okay, I can kind of see, I can kind of see. Yeah, that, no, actually. that's fine. How much was our wonderful olive bread? £4.95. Yeah. That's right, it's actually quite big. Yeah. It's got olives in. It's got olives in. Olives and it has something else in it, doesn't it? Olives made from sourdough. So there's no olives in it at all, it's just no, bread. No, it's just bread. bread. <laughs> <laughs> How much was I pin, pin the trash? 65 pounds. I'm sorry, what? No. I'm, I will pay for that. That was really fucking good. 65 pounds. So, Panata like you can get cheaper ones, right? But yeah, that but one tastes incredible. Fuck. That one does taste really good. You know what, it, it did seem, thank you, it did seem a lot better than oh, any on. other. Pin Taudi. Oh. And there's a chef on the front, made by the master Giuseppe Pin Taudi. And I've got an Instagram, Pin Taudi. <laughs> <laughs> Panatone Classico. By the day, glad you. You can have this with spaghetti when you have your family around for if spaghetti. If you're having your whole family around and neighbors for spaghetti, yeah. serve this afterwards. Yeah, and just be like, look. Made in Italy. It's a real deal. Yeah, that's maybe why it's so expensive. <laughs> I'm, I am I am slightly angry at it, but <sighs> some guy is making it in his kitchen from in Italy. From in Italy. It tastes really it's nice. Really I don't think it needs to be that expensive, but no. I can understand why, because it does taste sublime. So then I'm guessing the gold this plate is more than Millennium 60. Dome loaf. The Royal Bloomer is 75 pounds. 75 pounds. For a loaf of bread. Because you're technically paying for gold leaf and a bottle of champagne. Here's my thinking <laughs> on this, right? This um, Pinacene, I can understand it's a little bit more expensive because mm. you can't eat the whole thing there and then. Like it's a little bit It's like a little bit dessert. It lasts a bit longer, I have a bit of champagne. Mm. But this one, you kind of like, you have to eat it within a few days. Yeah, I was gonna go moldy. Who are you trying to impress with? Who are you having round for champagne bread? gold Who bread? are you having round for spaghetti? Who are they? Who are they? That's too much. Now we're gonna have to eat the whole thing and it was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> I think we know what, our bread, and I think we were um, misled-ledden by the panettone because we've seen cheaper ones in TK Maxx. Yeah, so we're like, how can you go from 12 pounds to 60? Where's that air coming from? Everywhere, I've opened all the windows. Oh. <laughs> so there we have it. You asked for it, you got it, you're happy now? Share it with your friends. Ask them, come to my for spaghetti. Don't say anything, just send it to them. Mm. <laughs> Invite them around for spaghetti. But and don't give them spaghetti, just yeah. play them this video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. I hope you like bread and we'll see you next time. Let's finish this little piece. Where's, can I have?